Think about this great structure, this building that we're in, the Crocker Mansion. This was built on the labor of Chinese people. Just like if you look over at New York City, you look at those skyscrapers, you look at all of, you look at modern industrial society, what is that built upon? The slave labor of Lao Beijing. The noble Chinese people, arguably the most ancient of all of our civilizations that have given us science and technology, Lao Tzu, the Tao Te Ching, philosophy, a way to live one's life, is now the home for untold hundreds of millions of underground evangelical Christians and Catholics, also many other practice there underground. In the modern world, the only people not free in the modern world are the Chinese people. How can that possibly be? The CCP are partnered with the elites throughout the world. They have an economic system that works for them. That economic system is built on the slave labor of the Chinese people. This entire world's economy rests on slave labor. Remember, the American people have always had a great fondness and a great camaraderie and a great love of the Chinese people from the founding of our republic. So why they tell them, oh, this is what the Chinese people need. This is what Lao Beijing need. We've tempered the sharp edges of the Chinese Communist Party. We're going to let them in the World Trade Organization. We're going to let them have most favored nation status. We're going to make them part of an integrated economic system. And when they do that, they're going to become more liberal democracy. That's what we're going to have is democracy. And freedom for the Chinese people, that's a bald face lie. That's a bald face lie. And they knew it was a lie when they said it. In fact, they continued to look the other way. The repression really started even worse after Tiananmen Square. At the exact same time, we were funding them our most advanced technology and capital, capital, capital. Capital, where was that capital provided from? The American Lao Beijing. It's not a conspiracy. It's called a plan. And it's a well-executed plan. The American elites, global elites, party of Davos, they're making up better than ever. The top 1% in the world got the best gig they ever had in their entire lives. The Chinese Communist Party, the elites, not even the 92 million, but the elites, the factions that run it and a couple of families that run it, never had it better. We had a famine that starved to death 40 million people. And then the Cultural Revolution. Now, we don't even know how many dead are from that. And things like cannibalism and torture. You ever hear about that? You ever hear about the one-child policy? Why? The world elites don't think the Chinese people are worth it. They're prepared to lecture everybody else on racism. Tell me about the racism of that. Are the people that are from our oldest civilization that have given us science and technology and math and some of the great philosophers and writing and some of those beautiful art for 10 and 5,000 years, are they not worthy? Oh,